Greetings from Northwest Ohio. It's the first week of February. We've got a bunch of snow on the ground. We're supposed to get another uh, six or eight inches tonight. And uh, it's getting really boring. Uh, too cold to be out. Well, anyhow, uh, this morning I was going through YouTube, checking up on uh, what my uh, favorite bush crafters are up to. And one thing that occurred to me is, I don't see a lot of uh, good comprehensive videos on f fishing. It's not that there's not a lot of uh, fishing videos out there, but you know, in our mode, we're more into self-sustainability, uh, survival a little bit. And so I thought I'd do a, a quick video on uh, something practical, uh, something that's fun, uh, something uh, for your consideration. Uh, so I've got really two kits to show you today. This first quit, kit was inspired by uh, some young youngster, some uh, young fellow I found uh, many months back. It, it's not my original idea, and I'll uh, try to do some research and, and give you his name. He needs the credit. Now, the whether this was his idea or not is immaterial. It was new to me, he inspired me, so I like to give him the credit. And then this is more of a more robust kit for those that are into more of a uh, survivalist or more uh, of a long-term strategy. So what I'd like to do is take you through both kits today and may hopefully give you some ideas and uh, that kind of thing. So uh, this is the uh, first kit. It is so small and compact, I don't know why anyone would not include this in their inch or bug out bag. Uh, to start with, it's got 25 or 30 yards of some synthetic braided nylon string on the outside. And I'll give you a demonstration on how this works. But uh, for right now, this is more or less a reel. You expose the line, attach your lure on it, and then you can throw it just like a fishing reel. And then to reel the line back in, you simply wind the line back around the bottle. Okay, but the interesting thing is, there's a lot of room on the inside to include a lot of extra uh, things. Now, inside mine, I've got a cork. I've got some uh, rather large fishing hooks. I've also got some small poppers. Now these poppers, at least here in the United States, are excellent for like bluegill or panfish fishing. If you can find a pond or a small stream that have those fish in there, these are absolutely killers. I think they mimic like a, um, some kind of a surface insect like a spider or something like that, but these are absolutely killer in the United States. Also, I have a, um, an assortment of different sizes of fish hooks. I've got some bank line. This is rated at, I think, uh, maybe 50 pound test. And there's probably, I don't know, I'm guessing probably 30 yards of bank line. This is real strong stuff, so you could use this if you were like cat fishing. And then looks like I've got an extra cork. So I don't know uh, why a person would not include this in their bag. I'm, again, it's small and lightweight. To build this is really easy. And then you can just pack in there your favorite uh, lures. There's nothing like having things pre-set up and ready to go when you're out doing a, a quick trip. Just as a, um, an example of how to use this thing, all I've done is I've taken the uh, Ranger Man, or in this particular reel's case, a rubber band, and exposed the line. Then on the end of the line, I've just attached a, um, a cork, a bobber, I'm going to show you how this thing uh, throws in a 
let you judge for yourself how well this real, little reel works. Okay, I have a um, cork on there. So to uh, cast this, put your thumb on the end of the line. And then with a wrist action, sling it like that. And at the end of your release, just release your thumb. I'm going to take a practice shot. Okay, uh, so that's the first fish kit. It is so small and compact. It only weighs like six U.S. ounces. I don't know why anyone would not include this in their bag. But anyhow, my next kit is more substantial. It's more geared toward the, the person who has more of a um, longer term strategic um, uh, idea or, or um, an opinion. It's not ultralight. It weighs in about two and a half pounds. So let's take a look and see what's inside it. I've got maybe a hundred yards of some nice braided um, synthetic bank line. It's also called carpenter line. It's rated at uh, probably 50 to 80 pounds. Then I've got a um, container of some other fishing equipment. I've got two automatic fishing reels, preset up with line on them. Uh, these are referred to as yo-yo reels. And the way they work is you can uh, attach this end to a tree or to a sapling or to something. And then on this end, put your bait. And it's spring-loaded. So that when a fish bites, it automatically reels in or at least keeps the, um, the line tight. So I highly recommend these. Then I've got a, um, like I'm tangled up a little bit. Uh, just a, um, a line with a sharp needle on it to uh, hang your fish. Now this is... Kind of an optional piece, but just quick and easy to have around. I've got a uh, an assortment of large, very large, very sharp fish hooks. I've got uh, an assortment of uh, corks or bobbers. I've also got a pack of uh, various weights and some really smaller fish hooks I also have a spool of uh, synthetic braided small diameter fishing line uh, it's rated to probably 20 pounds well if you can see that it's really small diameter In addition to the extra cordage, I carry a set of netting needles and gauge blocks. Now the important thing about these is, with the extra cordage, I can make a net. I can do a cargo net, I can do a seine net. I can do a um, bird trap net. I can do lots of different types of nets real quick and easy. Now, uh, if you've never tried this, you should try this. There is a guy online. Let me um, put this down and make sure I get his name right. His name is wilderness outfitters now he's got several different good videos out there but he's got some videos on how to do basic 
uh, netting. Now the important thing for me is not only can I make any kind of net that I want, um, I can use these tools to do about any other kind of uh, job that I need too. Now I've seen a lot of videos out on the on the net about how to do, like for example, a um, a gill net, uh, and they use some basic knots. Maybe that stuff will work or maybe not, but what I've seen, though, is it will take them about as much time to do a simple net as it would for me to use my uh, needles and gauge plates to do a uh, really nice, um, great net. Uh, here's an example. Now, this is called a uh, purse net. And I think they use these a lot over in England and other places to like snare. Can you see the mesh on this? To snare like rabbits. But you can see this makes a great gill net. The last item I want to show you my kit is a pre-prepared four foot by 30 yards of gill net. Now this is pre-prepared because it would be just simply impractical to try to do um, on the spot. But I strongly recommend putting a um, large gill net in your bag. Now at least here in the United States, this is not illegal to own, but in a lot of the United States, this is illegal to use. So, in the case of anarchy, heaven forbid, this would be a way that you could uh, feed yourself if you were located to a, a, a body of water. Well, Thanks for stopping in today. Uh, if you've made it this far, then uh, hopefully you've learned something or you're a glutton for punishment. But what I would like to do before I close is to anyone watching this video, I'd like to give away a free uh, one of these smaller kits. I'll include the line. I'll put in some fish hooks. Uh, a bobber, that kind of thing. You can add to it whatever you like. But what I'd like to do then is, uh, like I said, give away to anybody uh, with some rules. I'll put the rules in the description, but essentially you need to be 21. Uh, you need to be able to legally own this. For example, here in the United States, if you're behind the crossbar hotel, uh, you can have this. I'd like for you to hit the like button on this video. Now what that does for me is uh, the way YouTube's algorithm works, the more likes, then the higher the algorithm will push you in the uh, return list on the search. I'd like for you to also subscribe to my channel. Uh, I know I've got a menagerie of different topics out there, uh, but you know, i like for you to subscribe to me. Uh, if you're already a subscriber, great. Don't worry about it. But you also will need to put a comment to this video and say you're into the giveaway. What I'll do is, um, I think give it a few weeks, maybe like in the middle of March. How about March 14th? Do on March 14th, I'll do a random draw and uh, find out who wins. Uh, now, the way I like to do this is um, for every comment, one comment per entry, is say I'm into the contest. And then, uh, for every video response to this, I'll give uh, two points or two entries. Now, if you do a video response, you need to say, uh, title it to, like, shout out to Larry Young Bushcraft Fishing. That way I'll be able to track them. But again, I'll, I'll put the uh, 
rules into the description of this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Take care.